Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am now the proud owner of a 3D printer. I purchased my 3D printer. Uh, it's been about three weeks now and I've really had a lot of fun just kind of putting through its paces, learning the software, um, downloading files, and just really just trying to learn the whole world of 3D printing. So the printer that I purchased um, is a Anycubic Cobra 2 Neo. It has uh, auto leveling, which that was what I really wanted, was auto leveling. I didn't want to have to do any manual leveling. Um, it does have a heated bed and is very, very user friendly. I'm loving the interface. I have not had really any issues with it whatsoever. I can only do one color, which is white right now. Um, I've just been using it uh, because it is the cheapest filament that you can get closest to the cheapest. Black in the uh, Anycubic brand is uh, about $12 for one roll of filament and the white is $13 and it's lasting me a long time. So I purchased this um, typically on Amazon. Um, they they say they go it goes around $240. But on Amazon, it says that it's actually for 160 and I kind of waited around for Prime Day, uh, thinking that maybe the price might go down, and it didn't. It stayed the same. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger uh, with the, uh, with, you know, in the 150 range, and I think this is an awesome beginner uh, up to intermediate 3D printer. Again, uh, right now the limitations that I have are really just, I can't print multicolor. Um, but other than that, uh, I've been printing just in one color and I've been totally happy with that because I'm printing a lot of uh, utility stuff. I've, I'm printing things like this battery holder um, that um, I found for my lithium um, 20 volt drill battery uh, for my Black & Decker cordless drill. Um, I've never seen them made in the Black & Decker brand, so I made this mount that will go onto whatever you want to mount it on, and it will hold my battery. One of the other things I've been working on right now is just some organizational um, devices and I've been really diving down the rabbit hole of multi-board and Gridfinity. I have yet to scratch the surface of Gridfinity. I've seen setups online and I've looked at the files but I have not printed anything in Grid Gridfinity yet. But I have been doing a lot of multi-board. So what is multi-board? Multi-board is like pegboard on steroids. Multi-board is a grid system that is set up like a honeycomb, but instead uh, they are octagons, and each octagon is connected with a threaded hole. So this right here is an example of a section of multi-board I'm working on. You can print um, multi-board in a four by four section which this is what i that's what i did here a six by six eight by eight and you can even actually uh, print them stacked in your printer if you have a printer that um, that is capable of doing that my printer could do that but it would just take it a long time um, just for a eight by eight section of multi-board for my printer which is the anycubic cobra 2 neo at about 150 millimeters a second, it takes about a little over an hour. A four by four section takes about 30 to 40 minutes. And when I made this section of multi-board, which I'm going to use for some of my EDC, I probably should have just went ahead and printed the six by six. It actually probably would have saved me some time. It probably would have saved me some time if I printed the eight by eight because since I printed the four by four sections, one section for me just wasn't big enough for what I wanted it for. So then I went ahead and printed the matching sections to connect them all together. 
and they connect together with different connectors that you can find on the multi-board website. You can find a lot of the downloads on the multi-board website, but the one cool thing about 3D printing is remixing. So what is remixing? So remixing is taking a file that you find and making it your own. There's multiple ways to do this. Uh, you can just download the file, put it into some CAD software or Tinkercad, for example, which is totally free. And you can, if you know your way around Tinkercad, you can remix parts. So for the multi-board community, there has been a lot of remixing. I wouldn't say there's limited parts on the multi-board website. You can find a lot of these parts there, but the community behind multi-board has remixed a lot of the parts. So for my everyday carry, I printed a hook, which snaps on like, like this, this, uh, this hook just pops into the holes and you snap it on that way and it's very, very strong. One of the things I just printed for my everyday carry multi-board square is this little bin and this will actually hold my wallet. But for the life of me, when I looked at this file, I could not figure out how this mounted onto my board and I finally, because it doesn't have anything that snaps on the back, these easy connectors slide into this, and this will now pop into the multi board. So I get to slide this bin onto the multi board, and it will snap in there like that. And now I have a place for my wallet and a place for my keys. There's not only multi-board, but there's also multi-board and Gridfinity, which Gridfinity is more drawer-based or tabletop-based, and they do make Gridfinity to multi-board remixes to where you can have a shelf like this, and that fits the Gridfinity boxes, and then you can use boards like this with a grid fit any system. Honestly, the sky is the limit with multi-board and 3D printing alone. The crazy part about it is I love to tinker and I love to put things together. And 3D printing is almost in a weird way has changed my brain on how to think. In the past, if I wanted to make something, I was limited to like wood or metal. I've been limited to cutting it out of wood or shaping it out of metal, but with 3D printing, there's like almost no boundaries. Just with a little bit of imagination and a little bit of know-how with some software, you can create anything you want. And also, if you just explore the multiple files that you can find on websites like printables or things or Thingiverse, the sky is the limit when it comes to 3D printing, and I'm super excited to be part of the community, and I'm learning all the time. I love exploring the websites uh, like Printables and Multiboard and Thingiverse and things, and the community behind 3D printing is just amazing. Everyone is out there making their own things and just making and having fun. Remixing is a blast too. I've remixed one part myself already. Uh, I did it in Tinkercad. I had to figure out how to do it, but I had fun doing it and I, and I made something pretty cool. This is the part that I remixed. I made it for my son. He uh, needed a phone holder and I found this file on Thingiverse and I downloaded it onto my computer and put it in Tinkercad and I had another file of a Bigfoot keychain and my son loves Bigfoot so I was able to remix this and put Bigfoot on the back. He's not centered very well um, 
in the program he looks centered, but here he's not. But I kind of make I kind of think it makes it look like he's walking. And then once I made this, I noticed that the place to hold your phone was too small. So I went back into Tinkercad and I figured out how to chop this in half and add extra material, combine it all together, and I was able to reprint it and now his phone fits no problem. And um, like I said, it was just a fun little project I did in, in an evening, it took me maybe about an hour. And half of that was to just learn how to do those things in Tinkercad. There are other programs out there like Onshape or Fusion 360 or Blender. I hope to learn Fusion 360 in the future. Fusion 360 is a, a CAD program that typically leans more towards rigid parts like this, um, where you're wanting to do more uh, rigid work from what I understand. And Blender is more like a modeling uh, CAD program to where you can model model figures like this, like where you can actually mold and sculpt an image in a 3D realm in your computer. So again, I, I'm i having a lot of fun with this. I hope to make more videos on 3D printing and, and what I've been working on. And I can't wait to get my Gridfinity um, going and I can't wait to get my multi-board finished so I can move on to the next project. Um, I do highly recommend for beginner intermediate the Anycubic 2 uh, Cobra uh, Neo. Uh, like I said, it's about $160 on Amazon. Um, I ordered it and it would have been here in two days, but I ordered it during the week that Microsoft had their crash. So it actually took about three days to four days to get to me. But once I received it, there was nothing wrong with the package and I did have to put it together, but it took me about maybe an hour to to do it. And that was like taking breaks and reading instructions. So um, anybody can do it. Uh, typically they call this printer a bed slinger and that it can print very fast. It can, it's supposed to print up to like 200 millimeters a second, which is pretty quick. But right now I'm not worried about speed. I'm just, I would rather have a better quality print than to print something faster. So I don't mind waiting on my prints. Um, the, the print right now I'm doing is a six by six uh, section on multi-board and I think it's on the verge of two hours. But it's been printing for a long time now and it's almost halfway. So, you know, you just really just set it and forget it. I will say this for beginners out there, when you're printing your print, Watch it for the first three good layers. Make sure nothing's going to go wrong with it because the first three layers of the print, those are the most, uh, that's the time where your print could fail the most. And I've had it to where I've downloaded a file and put it in my slicer and it was not orient, orient it was not in the right position. And I put the information in my printer and it just tried to print in midair and printers can't do that. So you have to have good, um, a good secure um, connection to the bed with your part. And the Anycubic Slicer program will show you that um, as you learn how to do it. it when you slice the, pro the, the project, it will give you nice, good, consistent um, edges in the in the part connected to the bed. Um, I know that sounds kind of like kind of complicated and a little bit of gibberish, but if I can figure it out, anybody can. Just a little bit of Google searching or YouTube uh, watching, and you guys can you guys can do it, do it no problem. So anyway, this is just me just wanting to make an update, quick uh, video vlog. I know it wasn't super exciting. Um, I, like I said, I hope to uh, get some more projects done on this. And I just excited about the hobby and can't wait to get more into it. Um, if you guys are into 3D printing, you know, let me know down below. And um, again, just having fun. So this is Triple Knuckle Niner and uh, catch you later.